Hello everyone out there in the world, happy new year, welcome to 2013, and where the fuck is my flying car, that's what I want to know. Okay, so uh, every year on the Mr. Jimbo Fox channel, um, well not every year, but uh, so far for the past two years running, I've done my favorite knives, my top five knives of that particular year. And um, when I looked uh, you know, through my selections of the knives that I reviewed over the course of 2012, um, I realized that there was only really six knives that I reviewed. And I didn't didn't just want to do filler here and just you know arbitrarily throw um, those particular knives here in front of you. So I thought I'd break the rules just a little bit this year and um, allow myself to to pick a knife that I didn't necessarily review, but one that I did receive in the year 2012 and I'm very fond of, which will be explained momentarily. But uh, before we get into that, let's go ahead and cover the knives starting on the left, as previously reviewed by me, the Wenger Apprentice. Um, pretty much just like I said in the review, I, I just really love this knife because of the simplicity. Um, you've got four very basic tools in here. You've got your standard sack knife there. You've got your bottle opener and can opener. Gotta have those on a Swiss Army knife. And you got your file. Um, it doesn't even have the scissors, no tweezers, nothing like that, just a little key ring. Um, again, just a very, very simple utilitarian style knife and not a lot of money. You know, sub, sub 20 bucks for this thing. And, uh, if you're just looking for a basic Swiss Army knife out there, this is definitely one of my favorites. You know, for the price point and just the basic functionality of it, um, I absolutely love this thing. It's definitely one of my favorite Swiss Army knives. And moving right along, we've got the Benchmade 530, the super skinny guy. God, I mean, it's just every time I hold this thing, I'm just so taken aback by how diminutive it is. You know, it's just so small and slim and profiled and so light you know for its size for what I would call a full size knife blade and you know it's just the axis lock you can't go wrong it's definitely one of my favorite locking systems you know tip up light, uh, left or right side pocket clip just an absolutely outstanding carry knife with Benchmates 154 cm steel you really can't go wrong you know around 60 65 bucks for one of these just a really really great knife awesome selection from Benchmade and next, well, I was trying to decide between either one or, or the other of these uh, since they are very, very similar, but in the end, I really couldn't decide between the two of them. So I thought I'd throw them both in here. We got the Spyderco Cat and the Spyderco Chicago, the awesome twins here. Again, basically the same knife, um, just in different sizes. G10 handles, uh, 440C steel, but don't let the 440 fool you. Um, Spyderco's done an amazing job on the heat treat on these. Um, only really had to touch them up once, and uh, still hair popping sharp. Really great stuff. Uh, spider wire pocket clip on both of these. I mean, just a really awesome job. And thank you very much, Spider Co, for bringing these back. Um, you know, since they put out the carbon fiber version that was very short lived, and um, they just kind of came and went, and they were a pretty hot commodity there for a while. And uh, Spider Co and their infinite wisdom saw fit to bring these back. And uh, great job on these guys. You know, especially keeping them affordable. Um, you've really done an excellent job on these. And last but certainly not least, this is one that you guys have not seen before. Uh, this one was a very, very excellent gift uh, from one of my best pals out there, uh, Mr. Edge Weapon 88 Keelan here on YouTube. Um, this, um, boys and girls, is a one of one. This is a one-off knife. Uh, you might be saying, that's, dude, that's just a Kershaw leak. Well, yeah, it's a Kershaw leak, but uh, Keelan liked to call this the, the MJF leak, uh, since this was a... A Christmas gift um, to me from him and uh, let me tell you a little bit about it um, first of all it's been Cerakoted as I understand it from end to end and um, this is kind of in the the zombie pattern you know with the with the black and green I guess was the motif here and it's really really cool looking and uh, the blade um, has actually been reground to a convex grind and I gotta tell you I didn't think anybody could one-up Kershaw on a factory edge but this is ridiculously sharp um, just absolutely amazing job on this. I was very, very elated and surprised uh, when he handed this to me and just uh, really, really cool. Um, you know, he knows I love leaks. Any of you guys, you know, you guys know I collect leaks. It's kind of the, the one knife above all that I love collecting because there's so many of them out there. And it's just really, really cool um, to say that I've got the only one of these. You know, this is a one-off, a one-of-one, one, and Mr. Jumbo Fox has, the, has his own leak. That's that's just really awesome. Definitely one of the most amazing Christmas gifts I've ever received. So thank you very much for that, q and So another year has come and gone. 2013 is upon us, guys. We got a lot more knife reviews coming this year, I promise. Um, a lot of stuff I want to 
uh, put my thoughts out there on. So 2013 is going to be chock full of all kinds of bladed goodness. I uh, hope you guys had a safe and happy new year out there. Um, I look forward to all the reviews uh, from my uh, fellow you reviewers here on YouTube, all my friends here. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I guess I'll see you soon.